Now, before we start this video off, I just want to say a huge thank you to the number of subscribers that have recently joined the channel. Um, firstly, thank you for subscribing. Um, this is due to the probably due to the fact of my three recent videos that all of you probably might have seen by now. Um, of course, my recent trackside video, which has once again blown up, it's now gained all just under 3,000 views at the time of recording. We've got just over uh, 300 views for the John Cleland interview. Again, please go check that out if you haven't already. Same with the trackside vlog. And then, of course, the 10 second crash video from uh, my obviously, I captured it. So, yeah, of course, it was going to blow up as a crash video, but I was just shocked by the amount of people that actually watched it. Again, at time of recording, it's just under 10,000 views, which Okay, it's a crash video, so I know it was going to get at least some views, but, uh, you know, I wasn't expecting to get that many views and it's still slowly getting getting more views and who knows, maybe by the end of the week it could be up for 10k, I don't know, but I'd really love that. So please go share that crash video, go share my trackside vlog, go share my John Cullen interview, because, um, I mean, yeah... Uh, Awesome. And also a huge thanks to 250 subscribers. This That one came a little bit late because we're already on 270. So we are just under 30 subscribers away from 300. So as I mentioned, please, please like, share and subscribe because it firmly helps my channel grow. Now enough waffling. Let's move on to the proper waffling of this video. Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Elliot Webber and welcome back to Do You Remember, the short little mini-series that I've been doing on my channel where we look back at a driver from multiple years ago in BTCC and we look back at their career, what they did um, during BTCC and what they did after BTCC and who knows, potentially maybe find out where they are now. Um, and in this episode, episode four, the penultimate episode, we are going to be looking back at Rob Holland. So let's get straight into this. Now, this one might still be a little bit fresh in everyone's memories because this is the most recent driver that we're talking about today. Uh, and yeah, as I mentioned, we're talking about Rob Holland, a former BTCC racer, has done multiple races in touring cars elsewhere. We'll get into that in a bit. Has also made appearances at Pike's Peak, breaking the front wheel drive uh, record, I believe. I do believe he still holds that record. Um, and also has made appearances elsewhere, I believe, in IMSA and also in the uh, in the VLN or whatever it's called now. But he's also made appearances in the 24 hours of the Nürburgring. Um, but yeah, we're solely here to talk about Rob Holland and his touring car career. If you don't know, Rob Holland uh, was and still is the only American driver to race in the BTCC, born in Denver, Colorado. You guys say Colorado! Colorado! <laughs> A fairly, he was a, a pretty decent racer, of course. He probably, uh, when he debuted in 2012 for a, what I like to call a two-off appearance, he made two appearances in BTCC at Snetterton and at Knock Hill, firstly in 2012 in a Honda Civic Type R with Team Hard. Yep, Team Hard he used to have Hondas. Who would have thought it? In fact, only one Honda because... They only had one Honda because back then they were only a one-car operation. Um, so, yeah, so um, in the second half of the season, Tony, well, in the first half of the season, I should say, Tony Gillen was doing driving duties as well as running and owning the team. However, in the second half of the year, he decided to um, sort of bring in other drivers. Uh, um, he, I believe he had Howard Fuller for one round in 2012, Aaron Williamson, a former Clio Cup driver, uh, and of course, Rob Holland, the man of uh, the subject uh, in today's video. So as I mentioned, Rob made his BTCC debut in 2012 at Snetterton. Fun fact, two th Snetterton 2012 was my first ever touring car event I attended. So um, yeah, and he unfortunately didn't have the best of results in his uh, six races he competed in. He only had two points finishes, both of those being uh, two P14s at um at uh, knock hill so fairly decent but knock hill is a kind of track that does like to spice things up and some guys at the back will be fighting for points but even so not too bad uh, for rob holland he would then unfortunately leave the btcc but also in 2012 he would make an appearance in the world touring car championship at sonoma or the race of america as it was known 
back then in WTCC. Uh, unfortunately, he wouldn't score any points, but also at the same time, he wouldn't even be eligible for points because he was what was because uh, he was what's known as a wild card in the World Touring Cars. Um, so yeah, moving on to 2013, he returned to BTCC in 2013 once again, only as a one-off, replacing. Uh, oof, I can't remember because Team Hard in 2013 they had a ton of drivers. <laughs> no surprise. Um, but he would be making his uh, official Vauxhall Insignia. Uh, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm just going to go with that. Uh, um, debuting. Well, he didn't debut the Vauxhall Insignia, but it would be his debut outing in the Vauxhall Insignia. Uh, and I don't think he scored any points at his one-off appearance at Snetterton, um, which is unfortunate. But at the same time, that Vauxhall wasn't the best of cars. It only mustered up, I believe, one podium in its entirety, in its entire tenure in BTCC. Jack Goff claiming that podium in 2014. Um, moving on to 2014, it would be the most we would see of um, Rob Holland, of course. Now the entire grid was using NGTC spec machinery, uh, which hopefully meant a bit, a little bit more of a play, even playing field. And indeed it was. 2014, from my memory, was a great season of BTCC. Um, of course, we had the likes of Alain Menu, Jason Plato, Matt Neal, Flash, Shedden, Colin Turkson and Andrew Jordan. Seven BTC. Actually, no. Um, who else? I believe Fabrizio Giovinardi. So what? Eight, I think, champions on the grid or something like that. Seven or eight. But um, yeah, as I mentioned, this would be Rob Holland's most active BTCC season. He would do every race bar... Uh, what four or three so I believe he did seven to eight rounds I think um, from my memory he would be driving uh, an Audi S3 um, under the banner of Rotec Racing though I do believe this was just um, Team Hard I believe helping him set up the car and it was to be fair not a great car in its first year it was highly highly underdeveloped and also, to be fair to Rob, he was not the best of drivers. Um, and I don't think... Actually, yeah, I think this, this car did score points at one round. I can't remember when, but I will put up a little stat or whatever to see where he scored points. Um, and then in 2015, this would be the last time we would see uh, Rob Holland where he would uh, be making his final outing in the handy motorsport Toyota Aventis, replacing Simon Belcher. Um, again, I believe for two rounds at uh, Snetterton and Knock Hill in 2015. Um, and he would once again only score his best finish of P14. So, yeah, so that is basically the career of the BTCC career of Rob Holland. I can't uh, find much of what he's done after BTCC, but I do know he did make appearances at Pikes Peak. As I mentioned in 2017, he took the front wheel drive lap record around Pikes Peak. I do not know if that record still stands, but to any Pikes Peak enthusiasts, you can let me know in the comments below. Um, and yeah, again, I can't really figure out what Rob Holland's doing. I do know he has made some appearances in IMSA, which is basically the American Endurance Championship, um, to, to, to simplify it a little bit. Um, but I'm sure all of you know know what IMSA is um, by now. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, again, I couldn't find much of what Rob Holland did before BTCC, and I can't find much to do what he did outside uh, after BTCC. So, yeah, a bit of, a bit of a short one, but even so, a nice little video to 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 um, yeah to talk about a driver who. I surprisingly really liked. I remember meeting Rob actually in 2012 um, in his first appearance in BTCC. And I, and I do remember him being a really nice guy, although I was about eight years old. So, yeah, I can't remember everything, but I do remember meeting Rob Holland once. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you remember Rob Holland? What were your memories of him? And do you uh, remember the pink and green Honda Civic Type R of Team Hardy? It was... One of, per, Percy, one of my favourite liveries of the uh, of of that the two thousand and tens era. But um, so yeah, as I mentioned, let me know uh, if you remember Rob Holland. And also, as I've mentioned before, be sure to like this video, share with your mates as well, because it of course does help my channel grow. And of course, press that subscribe button because we are firmly on the road to three hundred subscribers. We surpassed two hundred and fifty subscribers. We've surpassed two hundred and sixty subscribers, and we've just surpassed two hundred and seventy subscribers. So we are getting closer to three hundred subscribers. Hopefully, we can achieve that by 
by the end of this year. Um, so yeah, get sharing, get subscribing. Thank you guys for watching and I will see all of you in the next one. Goodbye.